Now here at Denver 7, we are committed to bringing you stories about our Colorado, the growing pains facing natives and newcomers. One thing our Colorado is known for is great beers and breweries. And Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo spoke with one local brewer who's having to make a tough choice because rent is getting so high, it's forcing some of them out of business. Inside this garage is a taste of Colorado. Pass the sniff test, that's the goal. Inside these barrels will be Phil's passion. And then we'll start filling that barrel. Phil's been brewing beer for about five years. It's a creation and sort of a snapshot of a moment in time. He's the founder of Denver's Amalgam Brewing. That has eight beers. Yeah, I'm gonna have a favorite, but it's hard to pick. You know, it is like, who's your favorite kid, right? It's love for the craft that drives Phil. It's more than just beer. But his passion is suffering. And I think that they will continue to suffer because of that. He's talking about the cost of living. Uh, rent seemingly isn't going down. Uh, property isn't going down anywhere. Rent for brewing operations are so high that some are beginning to fade away. It just kind of came to an end. Powder Keg Brewing, a company Phil worked for, tapped out last month. Powder Keg Brewing paid between four and $5,000 a month for rent four years ago. Today, uh, I was between seven and 7,000, 7,500 a month, generally speaking. That's a lot. Yeah. Phil is now running his own brewery. This is part of Powder Keg's last batch, and soon you won't be able to buy it. But just like his craft, through time, Phil has matured. How can we get creative in the way that we share resources? He's teamed up with another brewing company to split the rent. Basically, Roommates. Our rent now is maybe two-ish thousand dollars a month. It's a way to keep his business and passion alive in Denver. Local brew is important because people spend their money here locally. Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7. Now we want to hear from you. What does your Colorado look like? What issues are you dealing with? You can email us at ourco at thedenverchannel.com.